Hey everybody, today's video, project video, is about my entry in the No Lathe Pen Challenge that Bill Lavolsi has uh, introduced to the YouTube community of makers um, to create a pen without using a lathe because that's a common way of making pens. So uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> this is my entry. It's a 3D printed pen, but the interesting thing about it is that it goes on it goes on your finger and I call it the solo pen that is my last name but it's a solo finger pen because it's a single finger pen so I'll show you here just say hello world so uh, there's a few iterations here I've got. I'd probably be kind of silly if I put them on my. Yeah, that'd be that would be interesting, wouldn't it? I could write with multiple fingers. Um, anyway, it's a lot of fun to play with, but the serious side of it is, is that I almost didn't do this challenge because I told Bill that I was I was busy with a lot of projects. I just had a lot of things going on, and I didn't think I was going to have the time to you know to take on this challenge. Well, I am so glad that I did. Because, well, one of the things that I was busy doing was making these, okay? It's a 3D printed prosthetic hand. And primarily for children who are, um, were born without a hand or without their fingers, um, they can put this on and uh, it doesn't have all the parts on it yet. It's not fully assembled, but there are strings that go in here and some elastic. So when the child bends his wrist or her wrist, it opens and closes the hand and then they can they can pick up things and they, they can uh, gain some functionality there. So that one's called the Raptor Reloaded. This one's called the Cyborg Beast, which is this is missing all the fingers right now. It's just not, not assembled yet. There's the, the fingers are right here. Um, this one I forget the name of it. This is a, a palm for another hand and some of the fingers here for that. So anyway, um, I was testing these out because I'm working with my high school son and one of his friends. Um, they're doing this as a school project. They're, they're going to um, uh, print and assemble several of these hands and, do and donate them to, uh, to the organization so they can be distributed to uh, people that need it. So anyway, <sighs> Bill, I'm so glad that, that, that you, you did this because I, my head was all about, I was, I was into the prosthetics and you introduced this no lathe pen challenge. Well, I end up making a prosthetic pen. So I contacted the Enable um, organization and sent some pictures over. And I, I ended up talking to a woman by the name of Jen Owen over there. And she saw the pictures of this and she was very interested in it. And she said that um, she would like to, to support you know, help me uh, refine the design. But also, she said she already had some some recipients that could maybe even use this um, as it is. So, I'm going to make these files available um, online. It will be open source. Um, so, anybody you can get these files. It's probably going to be on on Thingiverse or Pin Shape or both. Um, those are two 3D um, printing 3D model uh, sites. So. Um, anyway, I don't have all the information yet. There will be uh, some information I'm going to put in the description. I don't even know what it is yet. There'll be some links, I'm sure, to uh, the um, Enable um, site. Um, I know there's going to be some design challenges coming up also, which I may have news about by the time I, I can put an update at the end of the video. So if you want to check that, well, I'm just, you know, at the end of the video, I'm, I'll put those updates. Like I said, I don't know what they are yet. Um, so just check it out and enjoy the build video. Here it goes.
Well, all right. I hope you enjoyed that build video of the Solo Finger Pen. Uh, as far as the updates I promised you, this file, uh, these files, there's a couple of different versions of it where it's a solid object. It doesn't have the, the finger cavity in it yet, so maybe it can be sized. I'm not sure yet. We're, it's, still a, it's still in its infancy as far as the design goes. So um, anyway, the, the files are going to be available. So if you or anybody that you know or anybody wants to... Uh, you know, do some design work on it. it. That's what it's there for. It's available. So the uh, CAD files are there and also the STL files. And when I say there, it's available on Thingiverse and on Pinshape. The links are in the description below. Um, I'm also going to put links to enablingthefuture.org, of course. That's the that's the hub, basically, for all of this stuff going on. Um, so if you're interested in this or you're interested in even printing some of those um, those prosthetic hands, if you want to do that and you want to donate um, your time in some um, 3D printing, uh, that would be a that's that's a great way to give back to the community, give back to the world. Um, and uh, also, there's going to be a design challenge coming up probably in summer of 2017 that is going to be um, put on by enablingthefuture.org and they also have sponsors um, that probably the same ones as last year as far as I know right now which would be Matter Hackers and uh, Ultimaker the 3D printing um, uh, 3D printer company and um, uh, Pinshape so um, anyway all those links will be down below um, I hope you enjoy this this for me, this turned out to be so much more than just a um, uh, no lathe pen challenge. Uh, it's 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 grown into something a lot bigger than that uh, for me and for some recipients who may be able to um, to use this now. So, anyway, Bill Lavolsi, thanks again for putting this on. I. I, these sometimes these little things they start out as little things and they turn out to be something something big and something important for uh, for a lot of people so anyway thanks again and we'll see you soon bye